right. Happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas and all that jazz. Welcome back to my new episode of my movie movie review series. This is episode 79. So last week I said I was going to come back and do a review on a movie that uh, I didn't really give no hint other than I said that I made my family disappear. So in case you haven't noticed, you know, <laughs> happy holidays. This is the holiday edition. You know, <laughs> my movie review series. So yeah, tonight I'm doing what? It's Home Alone. So you need the thumbnail. The thumbnail give it away all the time. So yeah, Home Alone, the most celebrated, the most recognized holiday movie of all time. Of all time. I mean, this is it right here, man. This is it. You know, you don't know. You don't know holiday films until you've seen at least three of them. You know, It's a Wonderful Life, A Christmas Carol, and Home Alone. You know what I'm saying? Wonderful Life, Christmas Carol, Home Alone. You don't know holiday films unless you've seen those three. <laughs> All time classics. All time. All time. So yeah, I tell you man, this is uh this is this is it, you know, Home Alone, nineteen ninety, you know, Macaulay Culkin his breakout bro here, you know, this is the movie that made him a superstar. Breakout bro. And he was only eight years old at that time, so <laughs> What were you doing at eight years old, huh? <laughs> so yeah, I tell you, man. Yeah. You no, know, one of the most celebrated, one of the most recognized horror holiday movies of all time, you know. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Let's just get this out in the open, you know. Let's just expose the elephant in the room here, you know. This kid, Kevin McAllister, he wanted to kill those guys, okay? He wanted to kill them. I mean, come on. How the hell are you going to survive an iron coming down around right top of your face? Yeah, you know, smashing the face with the iron. Yeah, you burn your head with a blowtorch. Smack in the face with a paint can or shove a nail through your foot. I mean, yeah, he wanted to kill those guys, man. Just think about it. Think about it. I mean, Jesus. And those ornaments, those those bulb ornaments, you know, those things break. You know, if you break one accidentally, your hand's gonna get sliced up. Just think what happens if you put your feet on them. That's what happened to old Ma up there, you know. He came through that window, feet first, barefoot, and beef and bare, you know, both feet bare. He came there first. Oh, oh my God, I feel that pain every single time, Jack. I mean, yeah, a long time ago, you know, I accidentally broke one of those bulb ornaments, and yeah, I split my finger open a little bit, you know. It's crazy, man. Interesting enough, no blood didn't come out of it. But yeah, it split my finger. But yeah. Yeah, yeah those bulb ornaments, man. Hmm. Crazy, man. I tell you, you know why I mess around with those? You know, slip on the floor, those those micro machines on the floor, you give them a slip, fall down, and you could break your neck. Hell, speaking of breaking your neck, man, how about your steps? It's all covered in ice. You know, you slip on the step, and then you fall right down, hit the back of your head, you bounce off of that, you hit the ground. 
on concrete steps. Man, I tell you. I tell you. He wanted to kill those guys. He wanted to kill them. <laughs> but yeah. With all of that side, you know. Still one of those great holiday films, man. One of those great holiday films that you should never, ever pass up. Matter of fact, it should be right there on your Christmas playlist, you know. He should never pass it up, man. Watch it right there. You know, you put it in, you know, you put it in your your playlist on your phone or whatever the hell you be watching because nobody uses physical copies anymore, I'm sure. You know, I do because I'm old school. But still, you know. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, though, yeah. But yeah, I tell you though, yeah, you know, everybody, you know, everybody is in a, a frantic, you know, not not a panic, you know. I don't think you can say a frantic either. But you know, everybody is uh just going around the house, you know, packing up, you know, preparing for the flight tomorrow because you know they gotta go to Paris, celebrate Christmas in Paris, you know, Paris, France, celebrate Christmas there, I mean, you know, I heard about, you know, going there, you know, you know, you're going to propose or you spend Valentine's Day or your anniversary or whatever, you know, you take a special trip over to Paris, France, you know, this is the thing you've been saving up for, but Christmas in Paris, you know, do snow in Paris, you know, I don't know, hey, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, Christmas in Paris, you know, something, something I never heard of. But hey, you know, yeah, that's the, the whole family was on, the, the McAllister family, you know. You got one of the uh, the burglars, you know, and Harry, you know, he's dressed as a cop. He's doing a little recon work before he uh, ransacked the place later, you know, that's the plan anyway. You know, didn't count on little Kevin, you know, staying at home. You know, he ain't count on him. But hey, you know, more on that later. But yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, he's seeing everybody, you know, he's trying to you know, get somebody's attention, you know. But hey, you know, everybody's all busy, you know. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'll tell you though. Yeah, you know, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then you know, and, and um, you know, you finally uh, talk to the uh, talk to the parents, you know, you know, you know, one guy, you know, you know the the dad, he said that um, you know, you got the house, you know, automatic doors is locked, you know, the automatic lights is on, you know, so you know, and then yeah, you know, you got from the mom, you know. And then she tell, she she tell them, and she told him, you know, that uh, you know, man, yeah, we all going to Paris, you know, and taking a trip to Paris, you know, leaving tomorrow morning and uh, stuff like that. So you know, everything is just excellent. It's excellent to uh to Harry, you know, he just as a cop, so yeah, you know, everything is excellent to him. So you know, don't worry about your house; it's in good hands. Yeah. yeah, that gold tooth, you know, you're going to have to remember that gold tooth, you know, in the, uh, later on in the movie, you know, that's the, um, that's one of the, the key notes in this movie, you know. i tell you something about this movie, though, you know, the running gag in this movie, you know, it's that little statue that's sitting in front of the house, because every time somebody drives up to it, knocks the statue down, you know, you got to get up and you got to put it back, you know. <laughs> Yeah, the guys at the airport, they knocked it down. Even though we did not see them knock it down, you know, we saw them pick it back up. So, you know, and then, you know, they had the pizza guy, you know, and he drives up, boom, ding, 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 you know, knocks the statue down. You go, he picks it back up, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the running gags in this movie, I tell you, you know. You know this thing's on the itch. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, I tell you, yeah. Real good stuff, though. Real good stuff, man. Real good stuff. I swear, man. How can Santa... Man. Dude got long hair, but still. 
How can he stand it? I mean, he got a full night to wear this thing. Ugh. I only wore it for like, what, 10 minutes? I can't even understand it no more. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> anyway, you know. Yeah, you know, this boy, you know, he been left home alone, you know, he uh, had a little mishap in the house, you know, his damn big brother, you know, and ate up all the, ate up all the pizza that was exclusively for little Kevin, you know, yeah, yeah, he ordered the plain cheese, but, you know, but, yeah, that big brother of his, no buzz, no, yeah, we did. We want it. Somebody got to barf it all up because it's gone. Cover, cover, get a plate. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, you know. But yeah, I tell you though, this movie though, it's just one of the best ones. One of the best of all times, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah, everybody, you know, they are stuck to a gone, you know. Yeah, you think that um, you got, you know, the head count of everybody because this is one little boy that lives across the street, you know. He comes over, you know, he sees everybody, you know, lined up at the van, you know. Yeah, he gets in the van, you know, he's checking out all the, uh, the bags and everything like that. This nosy little boy, I experience. But, yeah, yeah, he counts as Kevin, so, you know, he gets the head count, too. So, you know, you think that everybody is there. So, no, man, Kevin, you know, he's still upstairs at, on the third floor because, you know, he was bad. So, he go up the third floor for punishment. So, so yeah, everybody backs up, you know, in the frantic because, you know, a storm outside night before knock out the power. So, you know, knock out the power, the lights go out, you know, the clock, you know, the clock is blinking 12 o'clock, you know, you know the whole thing, you know, I'm sure you all got those digital clocks that, uh, you know, it blinks 12, you know, either you had them or you, you got them or you used to have them or whatever the case may be, but anyway, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah they slept in. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not gonna go through the whole movie. I'm not gonna do that. Not for this one. I'm just gonna say that this is one of the one of the most celebrated, one of the most greatest movies of all time. And yeah, you gotta. I'm sure you have seen it. If not seen it, see it again. I'm sure you've done that. You know what? This is not a normal review because I can't really do my usual tropes, you know, why, why you watch this review. I can't do that because, you know, you've seen the movie. I mean, everybody's seen the movie, so yeah. It's one of the, like I said, it's one of the greats, you know, if you're going to watch a holiday movie, you know, there's three of them that you should watch. Three exclusive movies that you should watch, you know. Yeah, It's a Wonderful Life, A Christmas Carol, and Home Alone, you know. I mean, A Christmas Carol, you know, any rendition of it, you know, even Scrooge, you know, you should watch that, you know. So, yeah, I'll tell you. There's really, there's really nothing for me to say about this movie. I mean, you just got the one of the best movies, man. One of the best movies, you know, yeah, this kid, yeah, yeah, he wanted to kill those guys, though. He wanted to kill them, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, I almost forgot about Old Man Marley, you know. Yeah, who's Old Man Marley? Well, I'm sure you heard of him, you know. Going up, down the side of walks, you know, taking that show snow, and he's shoving the snow, and then he, uh, Lay that salt down all over the sidewalks, you know. But you know, according to legend, Duke killed his uh, his family years ago. You know, uh, dispose of the bodies, turn them into salt, put them in the uh the garbage can, so, you know, he goes up and down the sidewalks, shoving in the snow, you know, he dipping in the, the can, you know, get the salt out, because, you know, according to legend, 
the salt turns the bodies into mummies. <laughs> of course, yeah, that's just according to legend. And who the hell spit this legend but Kevin's big brother? He hit Kevin's idiotic big brother, Buzz. <laughs> Yeah, he the one that spit the legend, you know. Yeah, he the one. He probably spread the rumor about old man Marley. You see, <laughs> so you know, Kevin. You know, he had three encounters with the man. You know, yeah, Harry and Mob. You know, they was trying to break in months before, but you know, he turned on the Kevin turned on the lights and he ran off, went went, went hiding. So, you know, yeah, Harry and Mark really like, what the shit do go on? I'm supposed to leave this morning. Come on, let's get out of here. So, you know, they go. So, you know, Kevin, you know, he crawls out from under the bed, under his parents' bed. He's like, yeah, this is, this is ridiculous. Only a wimp can be hiding under the bed. And I'm not a wimp. I'm the man of the house. Yeah, so he comes out, you know, like, hey, I'm not afraid anymore. You hear me? I'm not afraid anymore. Yeah, so, you know, yeah, he sees old man Marley coming up, you know, that look on his face. <laughs> yeah, you know, Kevin, he looking up, and he's scared of the boy. <sighs> yeah, he runs right back in, you know, that was his first encounter with him, you know, second encounter with him was at the drugstore. You know, he needed a toothbrush, you know, so he needs to figure out if this toothbrush is, he needed to figure out. If this toothbrush is approved by the American Dental Association. <laughs> yeah. Uh, am I supposed to hold up a brand name? So, yeah, I know Colgate, you know. Yeah, this toothbrush approved by the American Dental Association, you know. But I got an extra toothbrush there at Thorax. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that Bush approved by the American Dental Association, so you know, they the, 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 the checking. So, they don't, I don't see why they have to check. I mean, yeah, all toothbrushes are approved. But I'm sure all toothbrushes are approved by the American Dental Association. I mean, you know, why else would they mass market these things? You know, <laughs> mass produce them. Why would they do that if they, if they weren't? So, yeah, you know. Who hit in the face by the bulb. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, old man Marty, you know, he comes up to the counter, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, old man Marty. <laughs> yeah, you hear that song? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's okay, but yeah, he slowly back away. Old man Marley just staring at him. <laughs> he slowly, but Kevin slowly back away. They say, you know, he runs out the store, you know, he, toothbrush still in the hand. Yeah, that was the second encounter. The third encounter was the blessing in disguise, though, you know. This whole thing was a blessing in disguise, you know, as far as him being home alone is concerned. But I'll get to that later. But yeah, you know, yes, the third encounter, you know, at a church, you know, Kevin, he goes in the church and he sees that, um, you know, you see a, a choir doing a, a church concert, you know, a Christmas concert, you know, this thing is singing, you know. I tell you, that brings back old memories, you know. I've done that so many years back in the. Uh, Back in my uh, old elementary school back in the day. So, you know, yeah, 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 I used to sing in the choir, you know, the gospel choir, you know. Anyway, yeah, we have concerts, stuff like that. Anyway, you know, yeah, he he goes in, he sees the choir just singing, and he turns around, you know, looking, at, looking around the church, he turns around, he sees old man Marty sitting over there. Yeah, old man Marty looking over at him. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, he's like, you know, Kevin, Kevin, you see him, he's like, <gasps> you know, old man Marty, he's going to go over him, and he's looking around, see if there are any witnesses, he's going to go over, he's going to kill the boy right now, <laughs> but no, he doesn't do that, you know, he just says Merry Christmas, <laughs> that's it, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, but yeah, and then they have a conversation, you know. Yeah, a lot of things you hear about people nervous nervous is true. Yeah. Yeah, because the idiot big brother of his, you know, he's spreading the rumor. So yeah, you know. <laughs> but yeah, you know, you have a conversation with old man Marley, you know. They have a nice little understanding, you know. Nice little mutual respect. They become friends, pretty much. So, yeah. But, you know, Kevin forgot. Almost forgot. Yeah. He got to protect his house because those two burgers, Harry and Mob, they're coming back for him. Yeah, 9 o'clock. It's like 9 o'clock, you know. So, yeah, that way it's dark. Yeah, kids are scared in the dark. You're afraid of the dark too, Mark. We know it. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. Harry and Mark, you know, they're going to be coming back at 9 o'clock. They're going to ransack the house. Even when the kid is there, they're going to ransack the house. So, you know, Kevin, you know, he go. He go. He beat him to it. You know, he going to prepare. You know, he rolls out the big battle plan, you know. You know, the whole layout of the house, all mapped out on this little piece of paper here, mapped out in crayon. So, yeah, you know, he got the traps and setting them up in there, everything like that. You know, the the entire montage of setting traps, you know, you got that song there. I almost did Game of Thrones. <laughs> you know. But, you know, you know, you know the song, you know, hell. As a matter of fact, I'm going to uh, link the uh, guitar version of that song, you know. Check that out. That's a badass version, too. Yeah, you know, yeah, the whole set the traps theme. Yeah. I tell you, man, you gotta check that out, though. It's so awesome, man. I'll link that in the description box below. Check that shit out. But yeah, I tell you though, yeah, this movie, yeah. Just one of the greats, man. It's one of the greats, you know. Yeah, he set the traps, you know. Harry and Mob, they fall into the traps, you know. Some of them literally fall into the traps. <laughs> but yeah, you know. It's just so good, man. It's so good, you know. One of the greats, you know. You gotta just, you gotta just delve into it. I'm sure you have, you know. But yeah. There was really nothing more for me to say about it, you know. I could just sit here and talk, talk for days, you know. But y'all don't want that either. So, yeah, you know, this is yeah, one of those one of those things that, you know, you just got to, you just got to. Great experience, man. Great experience all the time. Well, you know, I'm going to go get out of here, you know. It's holiday season, so. <laughs> you know, next week, coming back for one more review for this year. One more review. So, coming back and hmm. can't even throw out a hint. Obviously, it's going to be, well, hey, let's just, let's just throw it out there. Home Alone 2, I'm doing next year, next week. So, come on back and do a review of Home Alone 2. And this movie right here, I, I rate this movie an easy 5 out of 5. So, you know, check. I just want to say check it out. But I'm sure you have checked it out already. You know? It's a holiday classic. It's holiday favorite. So, you know, 5 out of 5, this movie is, that's my review. And I'm sticking to it. So yeah, next week you can do a Home Alone 2, so time to get lost in New York. Get lost in New York with me next week. So in the meantime, in between time, Jack, you guys have a safe Christmas shopping weekend, holiday week, everything like that. Drink all the eggnog and don't get drunk on it, so you know. Uh, check out my other shit right here. Subscribe right here. In the meantime, in between time, Jack show off.